Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Movie Couple. I'm Dustin. I'm Wendy. And we've got to the season finale of American Born Chinese, Episode 8. And the title is... Wait, the title is The Fourth Scroll. Yes. Oh, okay. I was reading the last one and I thought the last episode was called The Fourth Scroll. But it now makes sense that this one is going to be wrapping everything up. And I think my theory, just because I just thought of it last minute, and I'm just like, this has got to be the way it is. The fourth scroll really is blank. And that's where you find the real power. Or it's like in Kung Fu Panda, where it's like the reflection of yourself. I'm like trying really hard to search my memories. So, because the folklore or the mythology of uh, the Monkey King, I think most everybody is familiar with. In English, I want to say it's called Journey to the West or Journey to, yeah, Journey to the West. In Chinese, it's Xi, Xi O Ji. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong too, because it's it's been a while. Like I read it when I was a child, so I I don't remember, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's how that's what it was. Um, so it's been like a hot minute since I've uh, even cracked the covers. I don't even have that book anymore. It's in Taiwan. It's not even with me. Um, so I I might have to do some uh, reading after just to do a refresher. But I'm trying to remember if they even touched on anything that's like the fourth scroll at all. I can't remember, so I would have to really look. But if you guys know if you've read the book recently, feel free to comment below. We're about to dive into this, and I'm really excited to see where it ends, see uh, if your theory is correct, mm -hmm. uh, and see just how it all plays out for every, for literally everybody, for the Heaven and the Jade Emperor, the Kingdom, the Monkey King, Jin's parents, Wei Chen, and etc. And I'm also really excited to see um, just kind of like what the lesson is because I know in a lot of Chinese lore there's always a lesson to be mm -hmm. learned from a lot of these stories but also from the book they have you said that they have made like a big sharp turn away from the original material oh, so well, it might is, not even end any the you way mean from the graphic novel from the graphic novel yes. that's what I mean yes yeah from the this, graphic novel. This is this is all original material, which is pretty cool. But I am kind of excited to see just how everything comes together in this final episode. We're going to see the conclusion of Jin's parents, Jin's storyline with Wei Chin, um, the Monkey King, and I'm hoping to see just one big epic battle. I I kind of I kind of want to see like a big Marvel style finale uh -huh. fight Shang -Chi style. with all of these different characters coming in, huge battle. Um, but that might just be a little bit out of the budget of this show. But even though it kind of does lend itself to that kind of a fight. Before we get into it, just a friendly reminder, our videos in no way substitute or an alternate way for you to view the latest episode. So watch it on Disney Plus first if you haven't already binged it. And then comment back for our commentary and review at the end of the video. And if you guys like our reactions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos coming out on our channel. And now, let's finish off American Born Chinese. Oh, it's starting oh, off Oh, with... we are going back wow. to Beyond Repair. Okay, unexpected, but happy about it. Oh. What? Ah. Oh. Really, Jin? What is going on? My parents' marriage is crumbling, and I completely failed to help my friend Wei Chen in his quest to find the fourth scroll. He thought I was going to be his guide and lead him to his destiny, but I wasn't, and I didn't. Jin, come have dinner. Mom, Dad. <laughs> hey, Jin, this has got to be a, a weird dream. I'm down on my last two socks. <laughs> Is he going to learn a lesson? Oh, oh. my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Dad. <laughs> I must speak to you about an urgent matter of life and death. Today is Chiu Fen, the autumn equinox, the day when heaven and earth are perfectly in balance and the gate between them opens for just a moment. Which means Bo Demon can finally complete his uprising. And you oh, so everybody's stop aware. Him, okay. Everyone will perish. I need to stop him? Remember, power comes from within. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I think you've got the wrong guy. Jin, a oh. hero doesn't always have to have superpowers. A hero is someone who goes on a journey, shows courage, helps others. Jin, is dinner time? Remember, tonight's soccer game carries epic consequences. He's probably having his... Because yeah. he's always waking up. Found it. I think this is what's been causing all the problems. Oh. Interesting. Everything is more connected than you think. <laughs> yep. Ooh, I like that intro a lot. Mm-hmm. 
It hasn't always had the bull's head. No, it's always had monkey before. But doesn't it have two heads? He can't he switch it? The other head was robot head. I thought. Yo, Jin. There's definitely that sense of like urgency behind this episode already. Mm-hmm. The autumn equinox. <laughs> Jen's gonna be like, what? She did say everything is super connected. Mm -hmm. Today is the one day of the year that you can balance an egg perfectly on its own. Really? I didn't know you could really Never do that, that on the Autumn Equinox. You're doing Kugo Ren? The characters from Kugo Ren are real. Huh? <laughs> I can't explain it, but there's a whole other world out there. I had a dream last night, and everything in it is weirdly coming true. Like, the shirt. I knew you were gonna wear that shirt today. In my dream, you were also wearing mismatching socks. Blue on the right, yellow on the left. Okay, that's pretty weird. Oh, if he... my dream is a warning, and I think it is, it means something bad is going to happen today. Like, really bad. I don't know what, but I know that we have to find Wei Chen and figure out how to stop it. I've never seen you this passionate about anything, so I'm in. Oh, yeah. When you Yay, have friends! A... What is she gonna come up The green powder. Oh, oh all the hot stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because it was... That Wei-Chen the... gave him. <laughs>我跟老闆說,我和我太太有很重要的事要做。什麼事啊?我們去把你的玉最早回來。Oh,Wei-Chen. No, I think he's in his monkey. Right? His monkey. Oh, no. oh, he's in his monkey form. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction. Well, I thought I could keep the staff away from Bull Demon, but I just got my father's step by magic mirror. I had a dream too. Guan Yin came to see me. She said the Bull Demon is here, and he's going to carry out his uprising unless I can stop it. Phantom Fury 17. Hmm? What? In Phantom Fury 17, the villain stabs Monkey Lord with the magic mirror and steals his staff. You saw that in a comment? Yeah. Your dad is Sun Wukong, right? The Monkey King? <laughs> All right, I <laughs> knew. Everybody knows him. Kugo Ren isn't the only comic book based on him. So you think Bull Demon's plan is hidden in manga? Maybe everything is more connected than we think. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're holding hands. Yeah, that's cute. We were here a few days ago and lost the jewelry. Just wondering if anyone found it. Sorry, he's not here. Are you sure? Uh, maybe someone in the back found it. I told you he's not here. It's a pendant. It's brown. It has orange color. No. We're very busy. If not eating here, please leave. That is my wife. Have a little respect. Why? You didn't. The other night, screaming at each other like drunk idiots. Well then, I am taking this. Please do. You're two years old. <laughs> 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 Remember, he was supposed to be like the adventurous one, too. Mm. Such good ideas. Like a super sketch looking. Oh, that's right. Oh, are they going to find all the. Oh, all the bird stuff? All the bird stuff. stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's alive. Oh, wow. Yay! They didn't kill the Monkey King! <laughs> okay, so this bull demon guy pops up in different forms all over these comics. This one shows him having brothers. That's true. He has seven. Here, he's fighting a drunk guy with mm. a magic bead necklace. Qigong just gave that to me yesterday. In my dream, Guan Yin said something about the equinox and the gate between Earth and Heaven opening. In Kugo Ran Saga 57, the bull demon plants a statue. He's in a robot too. Mm -hmm. down to Earth's core, harnessing the power of the whole world. Guan Yin said that power comes from within. It flows from the core. That's what he's gonna do. He's going to use your world to destroy mine. Any water? So what is this? <laughs> Just hot water and some healthy stuff. <laughs> it must be terrible to find your son in a place like this. But it was my fault. What happened? Try to keep him from making the same mistakes I made. I hope you feel better. I do, actually. 
Please keep this. It gives you strength and energy. Oh, this is gonna give. That's the one that was blessed oh, by Guan Yin. Oh yeah. Huh? I think it is a little weird where they like stumbled across this and they're like, no, we're not gonna call the cops or an ambulance or you yeah. know what I'm saying. But it's okay. We'll, we'll let it go. And it's got the lotus on it. Guan Yin travels sometimes on a giant lotus flower. Oh. Uh. All the stuff is gonna happen mm -hmm. at the game. Find the bull demon. You get that staff before he can use it to blow up heaven. Yeah, but if he can shape shift, he could literally be anyone. He's not very good at it, though. Not like my father. Okay, so we just look for someone acting weird. Hey, Jin, could I talk to you real quick? Yes, he can. Because everything is normal. <laughs> <laughs> you remember at the beginning of the year when you asked me to hang out and I said we could be buds? No, no. Listen, I, I told you already, like, I'm totally fine. Well, I'm <gasps> she not. likes him! I feel like we've hung out a lot since then and, you know, gotten to know each other better. And we were lab partners and you, you came to my house. And I don't know everything that's going on with your family, but I just feel like lately... You've kind of been dodging me. No, no. I um, just, I, I keep trying to find the right words to like draw you out and to get to the real you and I... My God, that's it. We have to draw him out. That's what we have to do. Look, what I'm trying to say is you're kind of the only person that I can really be myself around and Aww. I want to hang out with you more. Not as buds. Jin. No, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'll be right there. He's like, dude, don't you see the him with a girl? <laughs> Give him a few. Yeah. Give her an answer. Come on. Ah, Come on, Jin. Jin! Or. No, go back. Come on. Go back. <sighs> Cute. Good boy. Oh, is there going to be that circle? Or is everything lining up? Looks like a giant. Oh God. What are those clouds with funnel cloud? There is something maybe I should have told you earlier. If Nimon succeeds, everyone here will probably die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you definitely should have told us that earlier. Find anything? Where we have been, dude. The portal to heaven's opening. And if we don't solve Bull Demon, everyone here is going to get annihilated. His parents are at the game. Wrong. I think I know how to find him. Oh, is he gonna dress up as the like as the bull king and kind of make a mockery of him? Or he's just gonna be himself as the bull king and he'll fit right in. Uh, Daisy, I'm gonna need that dress. Put your hands together for our last presentation. They're really gonna blow your mind. The one, the only cosplay club. The celestial realm has been defended by Kugoran for millennia. However. His nemesis, Mo Akuna, the bull demon, has mounted an uprising and stolen the sacred staff. <laughs> On the eve of his attack, the goddess of mercy confronts him. <laughs> bull demon, your craven attempt at power is futile. Surrender your uprising now. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> no one can stop my plan of destruction. Once I plant this staff in the ground, Everyone here will die! Oh, <laughs> on this silly act of vengeance, the forces of heaven and earth. <laughs> Stop! Look! What do you see? Tell me! I see a supervillain. I see a supervillain who's fueled by revenge, and he's gonna stop at nothing to control the world, even if it means he's gonna destroy it. I see a sad, lonely little bull. I see someone who's obsessed with what other people think about him. Honestly, I see a guy who doesn't really like himself that much. Is this supposed to draw out the... <laughs> Sometimes, it makes him hurt people that he really cares about. And the worst part is he doesn't know why he feels that way. Yeah, or maybe not, honestly, because at the end of the day, I'm still just like a weak, dumb, whiny little cow baby and everyone knows it. Right, guys, I have seven brothers and every single one of them is cooler, smarter, and better looking than I am. I try to cover up all this, like, unsolved insecurity with this stupid looking 
leather jacket, this dumb nose ring from the 1990s, and I have this goatee that looks like. Oh no! Is it the teacher? Oh no, it is the teacher! But nobody's buying it because at the end of the day, everybody can tell how hard I'm trying. Oh! There's the staff! No one notices the amazing <laughs> jump. They've already thought it was a part of the act. Oh. That was sick. Oh. True form. Let's go. Oh, with the beads. <laughs> oh. Take it. Oh. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame There's him. something about it, fight choreography and fight shows that just gets everyone into war. Wow, That's look at cool. that. So winning. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh dang. Oh, you kids okay? <laughs> the coach is the only one like. Go ahead, wait a this second. is a little, a little severe for a play. Get it, get it, get it! Oh. I wonder if Jin's gonna be able to get the staff. Yo, are they flying? <laughs> <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Dang, mid air punch and everything. <laughs> I think the coach is the only real, like, the one that's like, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are flying. <laughs> How are high school kids able to do this? Oh, he's gonna, gonna do it. Charge both of them right into yeah. it. He flew a long distance. Oh, come on. I wonder if um, the Monkey King's gonna show up. He's gotta. What is he thinking? He sees his parents. Of course, suspend. Push the suspension a little bit more. You have to be brave, Jin. I'm not, though. Do you know who you are? Your worlds clashing into each other. You're all the pieces merging into one. I wish you knew how much strength you have inside you. Just have to unlock it. Just be you, Jin. Oh my god, he's gonna go for it. Oh, he jumps over. Like, oh, he goes like to, to block it. Is it like kind of like jumping on the grenade? Oh. Okay, well, the moment's passed. Jin! 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 Oh, Jin, you okay? Oh. Yes! I guess that green stuff really does heal. Yep. Well, that one that's been blessed by Kwangi. <laughs> Good job. I can see during the game, so. Jin is the fourth scroll. You're the fourth scroll. He's the fourth scroll! He is the fourth <laughs> 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 now Jin still got to play a whole, ga um, he whole game. He still has to play a whole game of soccer. Oh, that's great! I like how that ended. Dude, that was insane. I know. <laughs> I can't believe you kissed Amelia. Call you in the morning. You are the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Did he win his game though? Jen, uh, where were you? You guys just disappeared. My father took Miu Muang to face the Jade Emperor. I asked him if I could say goodbye. And your dream came true. You stopped the uprising. You did. You saved my home. I still don't know if I did that. Neither do I. I'm gonna find out. 
Will I ever see you again? I hope so. You are my best friend. How cute. Oh, he must have transformed into like a bird. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there it is. is. Mom? Dad? They're not home? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, it can't be bad. Or they're gonna set it up for a new se a next another season. <gasps> Hi, Kim. Who's that? Who are you? <gasps> oh, I oh. Know who she is. But I have been wanting to ask you the. Same oh my gosh, thing. are we gonna get a season two? I I'm glad that they're actually doing this. Sorry, can you say that one more time slower? My Chinese isn't. <laughs> she is um isn't she wasn't she iron fan or uh-huh so what does that mean okay let me see if let me see if there's a there's oh, a yeah, post yeah, yeah. credit there, there probably be. is there probably is i was wondering if they were gonna touch on this and then i realized that it wasn't really his story like he's not like he's the villain well like he wasn't because there has so much to focus on yeah but i'm actually glad that they did this because it is a part of the mythology so in the mythology, uh, that is uh, Neil Mo Wong's wife. Oh. So naturally she'd be pissed mm -hmm. about what's happened. And I like that they established that because at the party they had met and she had expressed interest and she had, and he had expressed interest and she was like, you know, come and see me sometimes. And yeah, was that's like, right. Yeah, well, so I'm got, I, I was like, oh, are they leaving it? And maybe because he's not like, you know, like the the quote-unquote lead of the show but i'm glad that they i would love to see a season two this is like expanding way 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 past you know the graphic novel yes yeah, i have to admit i was sitting here going i didn't know that there was this much in the graphic novel there is, <laughs> but i guess that's... but you should still read it I, but i guess that's also just a way to be able to expand the story be able to do more seasons and yeah, because there's plenty of mythology for you to dive into. Yeah, they can take and expand on the whole, you know, journey to the West, especially this is like set in the modern world. So like, who knows how many years from that it has been on. But that's really interesting because I thought it, they were going to like wrap the things up in like a nice little like bow and be like, oh, and Jin has, you know, kind of like found that confidence within himself and... You know, he's, he's, his journey from beginning to end is, like, so great. Mm -hmm. His arc, right? And then, like, the parents would, like, start to resolve their issue because they're starting to com communicate and talk more and all this and that. And now there's more. So it's like, if we don't get a season two, I'm going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also one thing that's really cool, too, is that now it seems like it's where it was um, Wei Chin's journey to Earth. It's going to be Jin's journey to the to, heavens, yeah, to and find. he's going to ask for Wei Chin's help, and this is going to be, I hope, because the next season could be all in heaven, That'd you can have cool. this mythical journey, and have it be a little bit more like, kind of like a high fantasy kind of a story, and I'd be really down for that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool, uh, but I, I really liked the uh, how the finale went because I wanted them to resolve most of the stuff. And I feel like because they added in kind of one more scene, like a tie-in with the Beyond Repair show, that it helped, you know, close out a little bit more because the yeah. genie got to say, like, it's it's a, it's about be, be the person who goes on the, the journey and, and that, that's, like, the hero and not necessarily have a superpower and whatever. So... Yeah, I really like this show a lot, and I hope that this show piqued a lot of people's interest in the mythology of the Monkey King if they didn't know about it before. And I like that they tied it into, like, the comic books as well and the manga, because yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. is true. Um, you know, like, the Monkey King doesn't exist in solely just a book. He's He's been in comic books. And, and, and inspiration yeah. from that has inspired so many other pop cultures. Yeah, so really super cool, really great series. Uh, and I just, I, I like, I really like the messages. It's, you know, that coming of age, finding yourself, being mm -hmm. confident, chase after, believe in your dream, but mostly believe in yourself. Um, and off, obviously a lot of cool uh, action scenes. So, yeah. You guys, let us know what you thought of the season of, the season one of American Born Chinese in the comments section below. Let us know if we do get a season two, what you would hope to see. Put that in the comments as well. 
Thank you so much for going on this journey with us. And we will see you in our next reaction series, whatever it may be. Ahsoka! Uh, oh, yeah, that's coming soon. Ahsoka is yeah. starting soon. Look Can't wait. To Ahsoka. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.